Chief of Heavens here for the last episode in the Skoa series. Ever since I read about this sharpness tune-up, I've been dead curious about it, but I never had actually the guts to try. Once again, this episode is based on a technique explained by James Price, but I also got input from a few others on Facebook as well. So the tutorial uh, that's coming is a mix of James' original posts and my own experience. In this video, we'll realign the front and rear optical elements in the Koa B&H. These lenses very likely didn't get a lot of love ever since they were first assembled, uh, being knocked around and shipped all around the globe for the last, I don't know, 30, 40 years. So there's a great chance that your lens will benefit from this sharpening tune-up. Like the previous mod, I believe this one can also be applied to other projection lenses such as the Coas 8Z and 16H, as well as possibly many other projection, vintage projection lenses. When I asked James how much uh, turning, how much rotation and tweaking he was talking about, he said that a fraction of a millimeter turn in alignment will make a huge difference to sharpness. So it's a tiny mod, but that yield powerful results. Here are some comparison shots of my Koa before the mod and after. I was mind blown. A properly calibrated b &H delivers the results that justify its status among anamorphic adapters. So don't undermine your own shots, please. For legal purposes, here's a disclaimer. Whatever you do to your lens, it's your own responsibility. I won't be held accountable for any consequences. Get your tools and let's get started. We're going to need a Koa b &H, tweezers, a screwdriver, your camera with a long taking lens, electrical tape, q-tips, and super glue. Open up the lens, loosen up the three tiny screws at the top, and then unscrew the front ring. Remove the glove with the focus markings. We're now at the lens's core. Remove two of the brass tabs. I removed the two short ones and left the longer one with just one screw. Loosen the screw so it's easier to take it out later under stress. Set up your camera with a long taking lens. Mine is 135 millimeters. Set it to infinity and close the iris to about f4. Attach the Koa and focus it to infinity by pulling the front element forward until it hits the focus stopper. Now your aim is to find an object with co high contrast edges. It's easier if it's text. I, I focused on a house. Now punch in the zoom of your screen. Take a photo or record some video paying close attention to image quality. This is your default setting. Remove the last brass tab and twist the loose lens block to find the sharpest possible image. Focus at infinity. When you do, take a photo or shoot a video and compare it to the default setting. If they match, your lens is as good as it can be, so you should close it back putting back all the tabs first. If the second image is better than the first, which was my case, it's time to give this Koa some love. Once you micro adjust the alignment by rotating in front element and find the perfect spot, use electrical tape to temporarily lock it. Be delicate as it's incredibly easy to knock it out of place. Everything must be done with extreme care here. James said the word. Imagine you're diffusing a bomb. Very gentle touch. Now with a q-tip, remove the grease from the recess where the tab used to be so it can stick back into place. Apply the tiniest drop of super glue on the underside of the longer tab and push it into place using tweezers. I said it twice, let's make it three. Be very careful. It's super super easy to knock the lens out of alignment before the tab is seated in its place. Now let the glue dry for a little. After this critical step was done, I took all the gear inside and I tried out different methods with glue, with screws, with rotation, electrical tape, many other types of tape. And here's what worked best for me. Uh, just glue wouldn't hold the tabs into place. Whenever I pulled it forward, the grease under it, it would make it slip. So I would lose everything that I did. I had to repeat the process. So what worked best for me was to add the front screw to the longer tab. Screw it very carefully so the glue won't, won't come out and very, very tight so it won't budge even if you try. 
Notice that while focus to infinity, if you pull the front element, nothing uh, turns. But as soon as you pull it back a little bit, the lens will have some play. And that's what we're going to fix. Hold the lens firmly, focus to infinity, and then reset the tabs, the other two tabs, because those are the ones that lock against rotation. So reset those while you hold the lens focused at infinity. And that's going to give you the ideal position for everything. It's tricky. I had to redo the whole thing about three or four times for every lens. That's like three koas. So be very patient. And of course, I was terrified of using super glue on an 800 bucks lens. But it turned out not to be so bad. And the results, oh my God, the results are so worth the stress. If you haven't yet, you should subscribe now because the schedule for December looks neat. We're talking about modding the Mir 1B just like the Gallius 44 and then the Jupiter 9 in the same way. So you have a complete set plus more. So hit that button and I'll see you next week. Fehadeng's out.